Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, gonna do another review <clears throat> on a very really high, highly anticipated shoe. Um, I know that a lot of you guys have seen probably this shoe going around. <clears throat> Release date is projected to be November. Um, and so um, let me just go ahead and get right into it. So this is going to be the Travis Scott One Low Air Force, the Travis Scott, I'm sorry, the Travis Scott Air Force One Cactus Jack. Um, so let's just take a look at it. Now, I know that, um, just to give you guys a little bit of information, so how these shoes work is there will be, these shoes have already been produced, uh, the retail pair has already been produced, it's just obviously Nike's holding on to them before the eventual release. And so there are different types of, uh, so when a shoe gets made, obviously in China, what happens is the shoe ends up getting uh, taken from the pack, like a, a retail pair will get taken from the factory, and then that retail pair will then go to other factories to where essentially the people that are making the shoes will go and work for the other factories that are also making the shoes and selling them on the side. And so that's where you guys get like reps and UAs or whatever anybody wants to call them. But essentially what they do is that they'll take the retail pair, take it to these factories, these factories will destroy it, rip it apart, see how the, the patterns are made, see how the materials are made. And so basically from that point on, it gets updated, 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 updated until the shoe is perfect. Um, so this one is going to be the first version of the Travis Scott Air Force One Cactus Jack. Um, and so let's go ahead and get right into it. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. I also do legit checks, um, which I've stated before. Um, just go ahead and contact me with my email address um, and it's gonna be in the description box. So let's go ahead and get into it. So. Right off the bat, I know that Offset recently um, unboxed a pair. So I don't know if that was a special box just for Offset, or I don't know if that was uh, the box that these are, that the Cactus Jacks are actually going to come in. Not really sure, but um, I know that that is up in the air as well. Won't know until the retail pairs are released or uh, somebody gets their hands on a retail pair and they do their own unboxing. Um, but this one is right now is in the standard box that the first Travis Scott Air Force ones came in. Um, this is going to be to be the same box. So I'm not sure if the box is correct. So I'll just say that all right off the bat. Um, if you look on the label right here, Avis, Travis Scott Air Force, I'm sorry, Air Force One Low Travis Scott. Um, this is actually the same exact box as the, the first one. So not sure if they just use the same box for this one. Um, if we look down at the label, it says white, dark blue, brown. Um, that's the label that seems to look correct. And so I believe that's the right label, uh, but not sure if it's the right box. So I have to definitely update you guys with that. Um, there's like a glossy uh, Force Air Force One logo on here. This is the typical box that the new Air Force Ones are coming in. Uh, you might've seen the same box on the Off-White Air Force One and a couple other different Air Force Ones. So let's go ahead and open it up. So right off the bat, what I see here, let's see if I can just like complete it. Um, so right off the bat, pink Air Force One um, Cactus Jack tissue paper. I have not seen this before. Um, not even on the, I didn't get the first pair. So maybe this is the same tissue paper that was on the first pair. Not sure. So maybe somebody in the comment section could let me know if this tissue paper is new or if it's from the first Air Force, the Air Force Ones. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take these out. Now, judging by, I already did my own investigating on um, the individual, the guy that got the free pair at the show. I did some, like, I've looked at his video a bunch of times. And I've also looked at the other guy that actually reviewed the shoes as well. And then I've seen Offset's video and then I've seen images. And so this is just all of that com combined into one. I'll let you guys know the differences that I noticed off the bat, okay? So inside, you have the typical Jordan, sorry, not the Jordan, the Air Force One shoe insert. I'm not sure if that's gonna be any different. Um, inside, I know that these are correct as far as not sure to the level of flannel that they're correct, but I know that these are correct as far as um, the two different styles of shoe inserts. Um, so I know those are right. And they're not cheap either, they're like, really really good they're like they're basically just like off of the um the retail they're like the retail pair ones 
So, and then, so when it comes to like stuff like the shoe inserts, that's sometimes, you know, it's wrong, but for the most part, that's one of the easier parts to um, get correct. Make sure I get this out. And there I, oh, there you go. Stuck a little bit. Yeah, the shoe inserts sometimes will be like the, the easiest pair to, the easiest part to really get going. Okay, so then if I'm gonna look inside, don't know if you guys could see it, but there is that, that Nike barcode is there. And you see this on a lot of the shoes lately. So I've noticed that on a lot of tennis shoes, on a lot of the sneakers lately. Uh, let's go into the right pair. Uh, so let's just go ahead and look at the zipper. The zipper seems correct as far as like with the gold detailing. Um, and then this is correct. One side corduroy, one side navy. And when you unzip it, the zipper does unzip all the way. And then when you look in, it's like this, uh, kind of like this brownish wine looking uh, shoelace color, which is correct off of the pairs. You do have the plaid tongue, which is correct as well. Um, like I said, I'm basing everything off the photos and videos that I've seen. Uh, from the sides, as you can see from the sides, this is canvassing material, that is correct. Where it comes down to the suede, not sure how good or how rough or how smooth the suede is on the retail pair, so we'll just definitely have to look. The front tumble leather, that is correct. Corduroy panels is correct. Camo swoosh is correct as well. Charcoal felt back with the Nike Air logo, that is correct as well. And then you have the Texas TX on this side. And then I believe on this one, yeah, it's M MG? MC. So on that one. Um, and it, it is functional, so can't snap. And on snap, uh, let's see. And even on the detailing with the green stitching right there, there's also the green stitchings on here as well. So, I mean, the suede is good. Like you could see it, it's changing colors. Like that's some, that's nice suede. So that's not cheap suede. Um, and on the bottom, you have like the classic gum bottom, which is on the both of them as well. Like I said, the green stitching. On the other pair, it comes with the navy shoelaces. I have seen some videos that's, I have seen some photos, I mean, where they have the cream shoelaces. So I'm sure that those will probably go on the retail pair as well. Not 100% sure, but unless the picture that somebody was, was, it was a sample that they were wearing and that could possibly be it too. Um, and that's another thing for people that aren't familiar with shoes. Um, Nike does have a ton of samples that they send out to add to like famous people. There's LeBron sneakers that will never come out because those are just samples for him. There, are, There's a version of tra some Travis Scott's. If you look at the Travis Scott sixes, um, the version that he had on in the Super Bowl, the Nike logo and the Cactus, Cactus Jack in the back of the shoe was actually black. It wasn't red, which is obviously a special pair for him. Um, and so, you know, I'm not sure, Nike does do samples, but I'm not sure if the cream shoelaces was the sample pair that I was looking at, if that was a retail pair. But uh, these ones do have a set of navy ones, um, fully functional. Like I said, camel swoosh on the inside, give you guys another good look, kind of just the shoe overall. This is going to be the left pair. And then let's look at them both together. Um, I don't know if I like this part or not. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this little flat part? I don't know if I like it or not. Not sure. And then if you guys want me to do videos at the end of my videos, if you guys actually want me to do on feet as well, um, I'll start doing that. If that's something that I see that people want me to do is on feet of these, uh, just to kind of give you a good look. So let's go ahead and look at these one more time. Let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and do one of these. So yeah, um, if you guys are interested or want to know where I got this pair from, um, just go ahead and hit the description in the description box. There's going to be the seller's information. Um, I don't work for the seller. I'm just somebody that reviews sneakers and lets people know the differences between the authentic and the retail pairs. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, legit checks, email me, and um, yeah, 
Uh, hope to guys see you guys on my next video. Next video I'm probably going to be reviewing is going to be the, um, the off-white dunks. So thank you and see you guys soon.